All right, back on the Young Turks. Uh, now we're going to go to a different kind of guest. We just talked to Harold Meyerson of the American Prospect. Uh, now we're going to talk to a bad girl. Uh, Nina, I'm sorry, Natalie Nunn is part of the Bad Girls Club. Um, so, Natalie, first, welcome to TYT, Rebel Hello. Headquarters. Uh, great to have you here. Thanks. Uh, well, first of all, what is the Bad Girls Club, for those people hmm. not aware? It's Oxygen's hit show. Mm -hmm. um, it's basically seven self-proclaimed women living in a house. Um, this season they moved to another city, but usually it's in L.A., and um, we're bad for whatever reasons. I was like, well, uh, <laughs> okay, I'm diving right in. Okay, so uh, I take it you're a bad girl. Um, it's, yeah, okay. majority of the time. Okay, so uh, what does it take to be a bad girl? What, what, how did you get declared a bad girl? Um, well, I've always kind of been the type of girl that does whatever I want to do when I want to do it. Um, Rock so roll, yeah. yeah, like I just even at home growing up, like I was a really big athlete, but I just always tend to find my own little ways of doing what I wanted and just not listening and you know and so as I got older you know it got a little worse got a little worse and <laughs> and next thing you know you're a, I'm a you're bad, a bad girl. girl I'm okay. America's favorite bad girl is that right oh yeah. I didn't know that okay <laughs> so uh, you said you were an athlete what, yeah. what kind of sports did you do I played soccer and I ran track at USC Oh, right. So well, did you know that J.R. Jackson, legendary yes, producer of the Young Turks? Yeah. Yeah, Track on. at USC? Yes, yes, uh, yeah. Okay, all right. Uh-huh. Uh, well, you guys didn't go to school together, did you? What, what year were you? I graduated, well, I'm 03. I was class of 03. You're 02? Oh, oh okay. interesting. You could have tutored her, you know, you could have taught her the uh, hurdles something. and something. I mean. Yeah, that's fascinating. <laughs> okay, so um, now when you say bad girl, does that also mean like like naughty, naughty, dirty, dirty? Um, well, I wasn't the promiscuous girl on the show. Like I said, okay. everybody had their own little Was there just ways. one promiscuous the, girl? On my season, there was one promiscuous girl, and they okay. called her the double standard. Um, that sounds just, cool. What's that about? What I mean, I? just hooking up with a lot of people. Well, that, that's a good standard. I don't know. I, what, you know, okay, I don't know why we're like, like a, like a one-night stand and on to the next one the next day. On the <laughs> God bless. Go for it. So, yeah, you okay. know, and if that's what she wants to be known for as a bad girl. Power to her. Okay, so what then what was your niche? I was the socialite. Um, sometimes Oxygen would run ads saying I was the socialite gold digger because I liked guys with a lot of money. But uh, all right, I mean, okay, I, that's bad. I agree, that's bad. Yeah. I mean, but the, I mean, you know, it was more for me, I was a socialite in the party scene, partying with, you know, people and all the Who do, who do you party with? Let's get real, okay? Um is it is Paris like passe now? Like, is that uncool to party with Paris? I partied with her recently. Oh no, um, so that's still okay. I mean, she's not the same. She wasn't like you know four years ago when I first got to LA. She was like you know Paris Hilton on tabletops. I mean, the the night I was out and I saw her and partied right next to her at a table, she was on tabletops. And <laughs> so okay. I don't think too much has changed. I think now she's... But it just doesn't have the same cachet that it yeah, used to have Yeah, it used to be before. like Paris Hilton, you know. She's but gonna... the partying is the same though, right? I mean, we're still drinking oh. a lot. We're still, you uh, know... Well, now I think they're learning, a lot of the socialites are learning, you know, get a driver or have someone drive you. All oh, these please, DUIs is kind of getting ridiculous. Right. But yeah, I mean, I partied... With do you have a driver? I do. I usually use my security. Like, my security will come with me. And, you know, after Bad Girls Club, life has definitely changed. <laughs> okay, all right. It's not the it. same anymore. <laughs> okay, so talk, let's let's do both sides, before okay. and after Bad Girls, right? Because I'm fascinated by this whole thing, as you can tell. Okay. All right, so before, you are mm -hmm. just an unofficial bad girl. Yeah, I, I, I was mean, just a USC University of Spoiled Children, but I was right. an athlete. And I was partying on the row and at the 9 -0, as some of people might know, and right, right. you know, just kind of doing the whole. So you grew up in LA. I grew up in the Bay Area, oh, right you grew up outside in the Bay Area. of San Francisco. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, like, you're partying. <laughs> da da da. How, where do you get the money? I mean, are your parents um, rich, or are you already like? No, you know? it was. You know what? We didn't. I didn't. I, we didn't. I didn't grow up poor. I can definitely right. say that. I went to private school, Catholic schools, my whole life. Um, mm -hmm. but I was like, my parents kind of praised the fact that I was one of the top soccer players in the country. So oh, wow. yeah. And okay. so it was all like playing. if Natalie gets a full ride to all, like, you know, whatever school, we're gonna buy her a nice car. Or, you know, so it was always kind of so like So what you what car did you have growing up? Um well my first car was just like a typical it was a Jetta. It was you know, uh -huh. I was just drove a Jetta and it was my first car. Then when I got to SC I had a Mercedes. But well, that was 
Yeah, but that was because... you got to be represent. But yeah. also, you got to realize, USC was $40,000 a year. My parents didn't have to pay anything for me to go there. So they kind of, it was like a... So obviously you get a Benz. Right, that makes sense. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, come on. So you got a full ride them. at USC? Yeah. All was, right, well, look, that's credit. you got to give her credit. That, that, and my parents felt as if, you know, we got to kind of... Okay. And <laughs> Natalie, I'm curious, what, what ethnicity are you? Cause... I'm Puerto Rican, Brazilian, and African American. Oh, that's yeah. badass. Okay, yeah. I like that. Okay, that's a good combo. That's working for you. So now, you got your Benz, and you know, you're, you're styling and high profiling uh, at USC. Okay. It, which kind of ended up... You know, I was kind of like over being in the hood. No offense, USC is in the hood. Okay. And so I kind of found myself in Hollywood partying after like my sophomore year. Okay. Which led me to events such as ESPN parties. Then you got to remember I was in school with Reggie Bush. I was in school with Lendell White. Um, my brother was a football star at USC as well. So it was kind of like I found myself in Hollywood partying at all these big events and so that's interesting. Yeah. So you're at all these things already because you're hooked into that uh -huh. circle. I get that. That there's yeah. logic in that, right? So it, it, does it become semi-pro at some point? I mean, like, is it that people like people know Natalie Nunn? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I started. I got like a really big booking agent for sports, and this uh -huh. was after I had torn my ACL. So I was out a year, and my con, like my whole thing at SC, because obviously you can't get money, you can't be working as a student athlete. So the one year that I had off, I got a booking agent for soccer, and I was, like, booking, you know, Nike ads, Nike stuff. And so I just started, you know, kind of finding myself in the L.A. scene a little bit more. All right. I don't know. Yeah. I just don't know what happens after you get into the L.A. scene. That's the, the thing. LA like, is there some magic to it? Like, if I got into the L.A. scene and I'm on a tabletop? And, yeah, I mean, you if know, you're, like, yeah, when people start. Then what happens? What happens People next? just start knowing who you are. I would get invited to, like, Leonardo DiCaprio's mansion party after the club ended at 2. Okay. And then I'd find myself over at Paris' house off of Sunset, like, partying. And just kind of just started trickling. Okay, so that makes sense. Yeah. At what point and how do you get paid for any of this, though? Well, no, I didn't get. I wasn't getting paid for any of this so stuff. So, how? Yet. What do you do for money? Um, no, well, I was still a student at USC, so okay. my parents were still in the picture, like you know, uh -huh. kind of keeping track of what I was doing. And a then, little bit. A little bit. I mean, right. they're in the Bay Area. So they really don't have any idea what bad girl Natalie's doing in LA. No, like, no. They, they know now though. They know now. <laughs> okay, we'll get to so, that. Now. Yeah, and then I just, I don't know, like my grades were. I was a really good student. I like. I just like. I don't know. So what do you do out of school, though? Did you just get a regular job, or are you a party girl? What's no, going on? I was a soccer coach. Like, I, like USC had a camp, and I'd get paid, like, $900 a week to teach this, like, a bunch of little kids who came to the USC Trojan Women's Soccer Camp. No, because, like, in your, <laughs> you, you mentioned it, and then it says here that you uh, are into sugar daddy's expensive cars. Okay. Okay, okay so now okay. we're going so, into that. So yeah, yeah, picture. Okay. yeah. And we're talking um, to Natalie and uh, Nunn, by the way. She's a she's a bad girl. Uh -huh. and in fact, she's part of the Bad Girls Club. That's on Oxygen. Actually, tonight she's got a, a, a hair battle spectacular yes. going on on Oxygen. That's 10 p.m. Eastern and 9 p.m. Uh, 10 p.m. Yeah, Central. 9 p.m. Central. Mm -hmm. And you got some sort of spectacular going on with the hair there. Ah, uh, you know. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, yeah, where, how do Sugar Daddies come in? Okay, time? the Sugar Daddies. I ended up getting a really good job after I knew I wasn't going to play soccer at SC anymore because my knee never, like, it just was never the same. Right. So I got a job on the corner of Rodeo and Brighton, and I was Familiar. running this store called Cesare Pachotti. And what ends up happening, I get, like, a bunch of big clientels who, you know, I mean, we're talking some of the top richest men in the world. Um, we, don't even need to say, we don't even right. need to say names. Right. But right. it's just... Hey, like, you know, I end up starting to get, like, literally guys buying me cars that were my clients. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, but does but, that but even hold make up. sense? Like, no. Okay, now, I, I, I'm kidding around, but uh, you know, I, yeah. I slipped in Arabs in there. But was, no. it, like, was it like like Prince um, Alawid comes no, in? No, it he, was he, like... She's like He's like, Natalie, I buy you, Ben. No, no, it was it was my clients really took, like, my personality, which we can go back to, like, why I'm America's favorite bad girl. A lot of people, like, feed off of my personality. It's like I'm every, feeding off of right they're now. Like, they okay. are addicted to uh, Natalie's yeah. presence or what's going on, okay? Okay, So yeah. these guys are totally, like, we love Natalie. We love Natalie. We They're buying freaking ten thousand dollars worth of shoes like i had a client who spent a hundred thousand dollars on shoes in one year just buying from me just to just because he wanted to call on the phone 
or just mm. because he wanted to carry a conversation. It was mm. like he didn't even know what the shoe looked like to send it to but him. But Natalie, everybody at home's wondering. Like, <laughs> I'm that, telling you. No, no, but everybody's wondering. They're like, wait a minute, is that all? You're just yeah. calling them on the phone? I'm, I'm, just some, of them, some of them lived in like Mexico City. Some of them. You never hooked up with any of them? I'm telling you right now, I some of them I didn't even see. Like they okay, would, but you did hook up with some of them. Never. You're, I'm not in no, Because no, you're giving me that no, whole guilty. No, <laughs> Why no, not? I, no, I saw it in your eyes. I can see it in the eyes. <laughs> what okay. do you mean? I'm not saying you hooked up with all of them. No, no, no. no, no. no I'm just saying. None of them. I'm just saying some of them. Oh, okay, wow. anyway, all right. I mean, we, I would I mean you are, are you a bad girl or you're not a bad but girl? But I'm not a promiscuous bad girl. I'm actually okay. like a tomboy. I was like not the type of girl uh -huh. that's like... No, I wasn't even okay. going uh, that route with them. Okay, like, at so all. at what point the, the, do the producers from Oxygen come in and go, That's Natalie, like right after Okay, um, officially, officially, you're, you're just, yeah, okay. How did they find you? Because well, you're in the party I auditioned, circuit? I auditioned. Oh, you auditioned. Just, okay, you did. And what they ended up doing was they were just like, okay, this girl, they, they do background checks. Like, mm -hmm. They see if you have the things that you say you have. They see if you're living on top of the, on Mulholland. They see. Right. And they're sitting there looking like, okay. Well, we can call these people. They can say yes. You know, we bought her this. We did that. Which I had a lot of them at this time. They're they're supporting me. Like they're totally like, oh, go be a bad girl. It'll be so much fun. If they wanted any information, we'll tell them whatever they need. Right. So, Oxygen's totally intrigued. They loved it, and they just okay. Loved. So then, okay. So producers think this one is an official this bad is, girl. This is it. You're promoted. The season blows up. Everybody's this going crazy. Best season ever on Oxygen. Ever, and then you're America's yeah. official bad girl, etc. What happened on the show? I, I'm sorry. I don't want to, I was, like, what made you the official America? I was America's? just really, I was really, I just went in. So you went I felt in. like what it was mean? like, I mean, I just, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I, I didn't hold back. I just was right. Natalie, like a lot of people get in front of a camera, they get shy. Uh -huh. They don't, they don't want to um, open up certain doors. I mean, again, this is reality television. Mm -hmm. So they don't want certain things to, you know, come out. And I just didn't care. Okay. Like I was like so. What like I'm just gonna be frank. Were you, so were you like the bitch or? Oh, for sure. Oh, for like, sure. Okay. I was like okay. the mean girl who, yeah, just totally bratty. Okay. Oh, okay. So I see it. I see it. You're yeah. the bratty one. Hey, they, they say in here that you might have dated Chris Brown. Is that right? Did you do that? Uh, um, that's such old news. Like. <laughs> okay, so I'm taking that as a yes as well. Okay. That's yes, old news. But right after Rihanna, is is that what happened? Um. I mean, I knew Chris before Rihanna uh -huh. because of the whole Hollywood and right. people and friends and everybody and meeting him. But, um, I mean, I guess the whole allocations of us hooking up right. was after him and Rihanna. Right. So, and that was all right. He, he was uh, oh, decent to you and everything? I mean, I never, I mean, I'm a bad girl and I think most guys are going to think twice about putting any hands on me. So. Okay. So, uh, everybody was cool with <laughs> yeah. that. Okay. So, real quick. Now, so, we have like less than a minute left. Okay. So, Afterwards, things blow up. Yeah. You got security. I mean, just, yeah. Who, what's paid for all that? Um, is it oxygen? What well, is it? Well, I have other shows coming out, and I'm, you know, doing other things. So. And so, are now guys throwing themselves all over you even more? It's cr it's pretty crazy now. We could say that, yeah, definitely. Okay. Wow. Um, uh -huh. You know, I mean, I guess uh, it comes kind of with the territory. Guys are kind of like, uh, oh, she's on TV now, and she might not just be after me like all the other girls because I'm a star or I'm whatever. So. Oh, so you're looking up with stars. I'm not looking up with stars. Okay, I would love I to you. find a regular average guy. <laughs> yeah, sure, 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 sure. Yeah, I would. <laughs> sure she is. All right, listen, i got to tell you one more time. Her uh, show is on tonight, Hair Battle Spectacular, on Oxygen, 10 p.m. Eastern, also 9 p.m. Central. Check it out. Yes. Natalie, thank you so much thank for being on with us. Thank you for having me. <laughs> All right, Young Turks.